Let's go see if we are done with the uh, trials and have surmounted the Pirate Master's palace. As he now calls it. Yeah. Label. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay, we've at least gotten up to here. And we climb up. Yeah. Okay, now we are in territory I have not been in yet. Oh man, it's somehow getting even grodier. Okay, that's the top. Cool. Uh, just one more second, everybody. Ah. All right, let's see what's in here then. A save point. All right. Well. I wouldn't say it was unnecessary of me to run back and heal up. These only give like a couple of hearts. Yeah. Oh, we can't climb those eyeballs. So let's just walk on in here. Okay. Oh, okay. Ne okay, I see. Never mind. You could have come here. All right, so I did. Did waste my time a little bit. A little bit. Um, oh my. It's quite a chonker, this guy. You've arrived! <laughs> I really like his design. He's very cartoony. The daughter of the genies! Maybe you noticed. I gave your palace a little makeover. Now that I'm back in physical form, I'm growing stronger by the second. Interest. Oh, I see. Now I see what he was saying about wearing his face. It was the. It was the like uh, bits on Risky's costume, the whole skull motif. Honestly, I, I. This actually looks a little better than the, the than the skull vibes. I think. I don't know. The chain vibe though is a little, but you know. But you know, if we ignore that part. Okay, yeah. Oh, man, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, a lot of cuts in this episode, but what you gonna do? He's a monster! Keep your distance! Silence, you! Why did you come, girl? Certainly not to save this traitor. Maybe you wish to fight and fill your mother's shoes? Let Risky Boots go free, or else! Ha ha ha! Or else what? You're going to unleash your half-breed magic on me? Which one was your mother? That fire-spouting hothead? Or maybe the songbird? I... I don't know. I never knew her because... Because of you! You want to take a swing at the captain, eh? Why not? I could use a warm-up. Show us some of your magic tricks, genie. <gasps> the Scourge of Sequin Land. Alright, boss time then. Oh yeah. Ooh. Alright. Not much of a threat so far. Oh, 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 I see. He just wanna teleports on top of you. Ah, there we go. Starts doing kind of going with that Metroidvania here. Very Dracula ish vibe with this. Oh! What's this? <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'll just shoot him while he's on these platforms. Oh, 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 okay, cool. If they swing in like that. Wow, he does a lot of damage. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. Interesting final boss, but it looks like it's gonna be a challenging one. Ah, oh man, I'm gonna have to, like, fine-tooth comb this episode. Take all these, um... All these cuts out of the episode. Um, there's a... <laughs> Sorry, I have some arrangements I needed to do today, apparently, that... And I thought I could get this episode done before all that, but so it goes. Oh! Yeah, let's just go. So yeah, this first part where he's just teleporting... Gives me, like... You know, Dracula energy... From, uh... Castle Devania. Now he starts tossing... There we go. 
Oh, that's that. Wow, he does two hearts of damage with it. Oh, well, no wonder I I got like borked here. Okay. Okay. Oh, oops. No, I did not mean to hit quit. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not that tilted. Ninety-four percent. Not bad. Let's just go like this. Save a little bit of time. Okay, this might be a fight though, because wow, his patterns are tricky. Oh, oh that was embarrassing. And now he starts chucking these, and I'm not really sure. Ah, I'm not even sure how I should like. I almost want to maybe avoid him there. Ugh. Yeah, I did that. Did think that okay? All right. Oh my god, that's really tricky. Those last for a while. Okay. Oh, now does he repeat his pattern? Okay, well, we got his pattern now, I guess. So this is the best time to put Whale on him when he's doing that. So now we try to avoid these. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, that's a problem. That's a problem, that's a problem. Das ist ein Problem. Okay. Oh, well, what am I doing? This sorry, I can just hit that thing. It's really quick to skip through. Okay, well, let's hope he doesn't have a phase two because otherwise, going to be in trouble. But like, okay, now we know his. This is now pattern memorization, really. His all the shit he does is the same. Then so now, oh, never mind. It isn't the same. See, he normally starts chucking from the other side. Oh, right. Okay, he only does it twice, and we can get a. Oh, what if I pogoed on him? Actually, that did 10 damage. That's not bad. Oh, right. I did this way too early. The timing on those lasers is a little... I'm glad they're not insta-kill lasers like... Uh, What's-his-face, Quick Man, but... Okay, now I think he starts throwing... Yeah. And now we wail on him. There we go. Oh, okay. Maybe the pogo's not a good idea. Look at that. That's because I can't break out of it into doing regular moves. Okay. But okay, but I see what he's doing and I think I can match it. And there's plenty of opportunities to hit him when he's just teleporting around or standing around. So maybe when he does one of his nastier attack patterns, I just want to play keep away, not try to sneak in hits. It, like, might honestly be the best vibe there. No, but design-wise, though, by the way, look at... I, I was, pirates make the best, uh, best, best undead, right? And this guy looks sick. Yeah, then I went for that hits again. I really shouldn't have. I should have just played, played keep away. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'm trying to, like, get some work in, but... All right. I don't get it. How, like, you're clearly supposed to, like, pogo to get out of the way of those beams, but, like, wow, is it tough. Oh, not yet. But now he starts chucking his energy orbs. All right. Ay, 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 ay. Those energy orbs are bad. Oh, right, I should not stand there. <laughs> uh, one more go, um, and then, since I'm clearly being a little taken for a ride today, I might take a break and finish this recording at a better opportune. Let's take this. Creepy Iki out. Come on!
Yeah, lots of hits there. That was a good cycle. Oh, Bose got him closer. All right, now he starts chucking. Yep. Oh, this is the opening. Yep, nice few hits in there. Yeah. See, look, you get like a couple of hits in. That's not about the best you can hope for, although, yeah, okay. All right, here's these patterns again. Oh, maybe if there's a space I could just stand... All right, I don't need to jump these. If there's a space I could just stand on. Wow, I'm slow. <laughs> slow on the uh, uptake there, aren't I? <laughs> oh, well. Now we know what to do, and now this fight seems pretty doable. I say pretty doable, but I'm still going to screw up some of these more precise bits here. Like, like that right there is gonna cost me. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that. Oh, God. Oh, wow, yeah, that was a bad cycle. Oh, yeah, I, can, I think I just said here, if I just crouch. Yeah, if I just remember to crouch. Oh! <laughs> Okay, but now we know what to do. Now we know what to do. Now we know what to do on basically every face except the- Oh! Is that all you got? For a genie kid, you sure don't pack much of a punch, do ya? Hmm. In fact, you'd be nothing without my weapons. Hmm. Think I'll just take him off your hands. Technically, it was only the cannonball that I was really using there. <laughs> but anyway, no! My pistol! My scimitar! My hat! And my boots! My risky boots! Oh yeah, and the cannon, yeah. Hey! Give those back! Yeah! What do you say we get the show on the road? I'll show you my true power! Oh, phase two? Here's the question. Every time we lose to phase two, do we have to do phase one again and again? Ooh! Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Are they gonna have us do that again? Well, we seem to have all our gear, so yeah, okay. So actually, I'm going to put a cut here. I'm not going to end the episode, but I, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to do another recording session to do final phase of Pirate Mustard here. Pirate Mustard. <laughs> oh boy, um, so just you guys just hang on tight because next time you come back, we're going to kick this guy's lily ass. Okay, guys. Hey. Hopefully that's the last freaking cut in this episode. This has been a little cursed uh, recording session, and I do apologize. These initial problems were due to me misjudging, like... Misjudging that whether I had the appropriate time to record, and it turns out I picked a bad time. And now I have to make more confessions and apologize. This is actually my second attempt at re-recording this final boss fight now, this final part. I tried to record a final fight, but it turns out this boss fight, this final one, is really, really challenging. So... Late in the evening, I finally had free time, I sat down to record, and I recorded for an hour of me just fighting against this boss, and it was really late, and I was like, no, I'm not, this isn't gonna work, I gotta go. Gotta go, gotta stop here, gotta go to bed, and I made the, I had to once again make the executive decision. I think it's better that you guys don't sit through an hour of me just struggling. This final boss, the Pirate Master, there's a third phase we get to where things really get difficult, and that's... I got to that consistently, but then died to that consistently. And I decided, like... Uh, it, it, it's one of those hard decisions, because I feel like these, like, blind playthroughs are documenting my blind reactions and me coping with the game and the learning and stuff. But I had to, like, I thought, since it's a, it's a separate episode, like, a separate chunk of this recording, and it's, like, an hour long, and it's just me... me struggling... I don't know if there's such a huge demand for seeing my progress in getting better and better that I felt like I could just probably cut that out. So hopefully this won't last an hour today as I go into this fight against this guy. Although, I'm just saying it's a preface because, you know, I want to be honest and also I don't want you guys to be confused that suddenly I'm like doing really good here. I mean, let's see, I might have forgotten everything I tried to do last time I recorded this, but... 
in, in theory, I should now have this guy down to pat. So last time you saw me pretty much learn how to do this first phase, yeah? So, I'll, I'll talk about once he turns a giant kaiju size. The, the second phase when he turns giant kaiju started to not be a problem once, uh, oh, but here we go, here's me forgetting, like, these simple, like, after how many teleports he starts chucking those. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, see, this was pretty decent to just do that, and then punch him here. And here's a little thing I realized we can do. If, if I stand here, I can still shoot him while I'm standing in cover, so I don't need to just lie down and hide from blazers. That was one of those, like, hey, what a revelation. But hey, you like a boss where, like, you can actually, like, learn stuff long into the boss fight, yeah? It, it's kind of fun. Ah, oh, once again, though, this, I screwed up. Another thing I realized, we do have healing items on us, so I really need these. This, I cannot do this final boss without using these healing items. Uh, and unfortunately, I didn't no damage run this first phase, which was what I was kind of hoping for. Uh. This is, I think it's safer to play like this than, like, try to beat him up. Another thing I realized, if we have to jump... Oh, never mind. If we have to jump in those laser situations, of course I have the hat to slow down my descent, so... There is sometimes, like, there's a field of lasers that prevents us from standing on the ground floor, yeah? So you have to jump in the air. Well, the hat will give you the air time you need to avoid the lasers while they're active, and... Yeah, little learning lessons, but... Okay, we saw this last time already, so I'll just skip past this, too. The last time I recorded, earlier in this episode. I'm sorry, I'm being confusing. This is frustrating, we can't skip this, I just have to watch this every time where he nabs every item. And we collected. Okay, kaiju time. So, he ducks down here to the right at the start. This music's excellent, by the way. You can get some hits in on him while he's ducked there. Now, this one's... Okay. This is the most harrowing. I, I find a lot of trouble with these giant cannonballs, avoiding those. After that... Okay, he summons scimitars. There is a gap in them. There we go. Yeah, doing good, honestly. And this one gives me a lot of stress. The game turns into a sort of uh, bullet hellish thing for a bit. Um, hiding in the corner seems to work pretty okay. Okay, final part, he summons a bunch of... Oh god, oh that... Hmm. Summons a bunch of simulacra, which thankfully die with one hit. And then, once we clear those, we have a big opening to do damage to them. Eat it. And then he repeats all the patterns. This is a very, like, pattern-based boss, I have to say. And I don't know what the general vibe of people is for something like this. I... I kind of enjoy them. They're like a little test of, like, skill, but I... I, I don't know. A test of, like, can you, like, master the skills you need in every phase. But admittedly, it, of course... Like, it becomes a very, like, pattern-based yourself. Like, you're just kind of repeating patterns, in a sense. So I understand if people aren't hugely a fan of this. But, like, I think of something like Mega Man... Right, the Simulacra changed sides at this point. I think of something like Mega Man, and usually my favorite Mega Man bosses are the ones where there's, like, sort of clear patterns on what to do. So it's, it becomes a case of kind of learning the boss's moves. Of course, this one is, like, very, like pattern based. It's not like he like kind of varies the order or anything, which would make it a little bit more... Ah! I blinked. I blinked and went that way. Mm, too bad. Like, you know, if, if he like varied the order he did these things in, that would at least, you know, force you to kind of, you know, practice your like reaction to like, you know, change your strategy to the correct one. Ah, man. Ah, I'm making some rookie mistakes here. Okay. I don't like the Toho phase, that's the... Oh, I don't know, I don't like the cannonballs either, because every time I think I know, like, what the right spots are to avoid them, I, I, I blink and stand at the wrong spot. <laughs> like, I've several times I've avoided the cannonballs, but several times as well I also get, like, cronked by them. Right here, let's see how this goes. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh. 
As far as I can tell, you gotta run run away from the first one, then you can run to the right to avoid the rest. You just gotta be brave and keep running to the right, and not try to second guess and go back and forth. That's about what I figured out. Hey! Oh, oof. Oh, God. Oh, okay, but I, I almost hit that energy ball there. Could have gone badly. Huh. Uh, okay. So if you have confidence, you can jump onto the platform once you uh, hit at the same time as you hit the simulacra, but sometimes I'm a little less confident. All right, that was a really good run, honestly. Yeah, I'm feeling good, but now we get to the final, final phase. I'm hoping this is the final phase. If there's more to this, I, I don't know. But yeah, this we didn't see when I was earlier today, so yeah, let me, let's just go through this again. Ha ha ha! Ginny girl! Yee! I hear you've got a whole lot of dark magic in that lamp of yours. Hand it over, or I crush this husband beneath my heel. Does he have heels in this giant form? We don't really see below his waist. Maybe he has? Gasp! What's it gonna be? The dark magic or her life? Uh-oh, is this getting a little... Oh, boy, this is getting tense, this situation. If I hand over the dark magic, you promise not to hurt her? I swear it on my own grave. Well, I wouldn't take a pirate's word for anything, especially, you know, we just saw Risky try to sell us off to the Pirate Master earlier. You know, so I don't know about this one, but... He's a filthy liar! Don't give it to him! Will you give him the dark magic? This is kind of interesting. This is kind of a but thou must situation. There's just the two choices, really. Uh, I was gonna go yes anyway, because it's a very damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. He'll, he'll probably just crush us and take the magic if I wouldn't give them, you know? So, what are we gonna do? And, you know, then we gotta be the all-loving, trusting hero here, so we gotta stick up for Risky, I guess. So let's go, fine. Here, take it. Just let Risky go. I knew you'd see things my way. All right, that's Risky safe, and now the world is doomed, except... What is this nonsense? Ah, light magic. I've no use for this filth. Oh, Risky was right. The dark magic was really my magic all along. Yeah, this we talked about this in one cutscene that it was the spread away magic from, uh, from 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 the time uh, that from the end of Risky's revenge when when Risky sucked up the magic and created the evil Shantae clone. So yeah, it looks like it all pays off in the end somehow. <laughs> you can't trust that coward. She just fled to save her own skin. Risky's no coward. She meant for me to use it somehow. Now what could it be that we need to do? Well, let's forget the freaking thing. Let's forget the magic lamp. Let's just belly dance. My magic. Impossible! It's back where it belongs. I knew Risky was telling the truth. Curse that Risky Boots! I will wipe you and every last genie from existence! Alright, and this is the... This is how far I got and now things get bad, because now he's just super cranked with all his abilities. Now we are super cranked too, if you notice the damage we were doing there, but... But, um, that's no guarantee that we're gonna get this guy. Okay. Okay, so now you see this thing is moving. Uh, oh, barely! That ah, was like a little fishy. Uh, this is the worst. I do not know how to consistently survive without taking a hit this phase. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, okay, well, see, okay, I got lucky that time, but make no mistake, like, when they chase you, it's awful. And, and, and then this phase seems to just be the same. Ow. 
Like, we just do the simulacra and then get back up here and hit his head for 999 damage a pop! It's ridiculous. Still no good. Like, he's just not dying. And we used up all our healing items. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So this phase actually... Oh, okay, I blinked and misjudged the spot. Like, you actually avoid the cannonballs the same way you did previously. But no! Oh, that's so much damage! I really do like this music in this final boss, though. It's got exactly the manic energy. Oh, oh, are we gonna make it? Uh, uh, oh. oh my goodness, I, I, I'm i making this look... E this is like some dumb luck here now, because I'm telling you, that was awful, my attempts last time I tried to record avoiding those pistols. Uh, oh. oh, there we go. Eat it, eat it, eat it! Look at this damage, this is... Inflated JRPG damage value, say what? Ooh. Okay, see, that's funny how, like, you just kind of do it the same way you did it in first phase. Oh, ooh, lucky, oh, lucky there. I think we would have died if, if, if he got, it did, like, 10 damage to those swords. Oh! Oh, my god, I should have jumped that. Okay, I thought I'd... All right. Okay, well, it's interesting. Pirate Master here is a lot like Negashante was in Risky's Revenge then, where, like, he just cranks up for his final phase, and it's like, just like, can you keep up with the nonsense he did there? Well, I guess that's a very usual, like, Metroidvania boss thing, is for a boss that cranks up halfway through. This one's unusual in that we have to do this fight first, before we get to the actual final final number with Giant Pirate Master. But that's fine. Now let's see if I can sneak in a no damage run on this phase. I think I did it last last attempt. So unfortunately that is now not documented on screen. Okay, now back off, yeah. See now I'm starting to remember. I had to say the problem um The problem with with fighting the giant pirate master and being our super focused on that is then I make mistakes on this first phase when I've like kind of forgotten the muscle memory on what to do here. Uh oh, all right, there you see the laser's gonna be here. Huh. And that's how you survive it. Oh, barely. <laughs> nope. All right. It's the third. I think we can at least attack him here, and I think now he tosses the orbs. Yes, okay, good. I've got the... I'm not sure how many times that is, but at least I got the right, like, it's, it's in my, like, bones now. In fact, I think technically you can match that with the timing of the... Ow, oh, I hit the ball. That's... So no damage run here, damn it. Or, like... No, not on the no damage run. That got clipped by that one ball. I mean, basically, since he's so pattern-focused, I'm pretty sure you could basically time your stuff that you do here based on the how the music is playing you know it's it's so like timed how everything happens there <laughs> oh yeah and now we gotta this happen again yeah oh but that's why i said that this is like negashante because negashante also sucks away all our abilities if you recall like at the end of that game you have to fight negashante with without your transformation magic so, so, same here, like, now we have to take him on without our gear, which, you know, did come handy, most of them, in that first phase. Okay. I'm not gonna heal right away, because this is a good, too good of an opportunity to hit him when his head comes down to the side here. So, I'm just gonna do that, and now, single meat chunklet will get us. Alright, we're doing pretty good resource-wise, okay. Uh, yeah, I sort of kind of have the idea where to go. You can kind of hit his head, like, once when he comes in here to summon the scimitars, and he roars at the start. But I can't do it consistently, so I really don't bother. Like, a single hit? Eh. That one I had to jump, I think. Now these platforms get the... Ooh, we might get really lucky here. Wow! Which means now we have a huge opening to do damage to him here. We might even, like, three-cycle this. 
Maybe. Uh, I'm not gonna make promises, but like, look at him stand here, just getting, eating these shots, baby. That felt good. That was really good. I'm feeling lucky about this round. Oh, okay. I really shouldn't have opened my mouth. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, see there he roars, he kind of ducks his head down. I have been able to get a hit in a couple of times, but like, really not worth it to hunt for that hit, I feel like. Hey! I might be like making life too hard for me by hiding here in the corner for this phase, I, I don't know. Ugh. Took another hit there, like maybe, maybe there are like, better, ah! Better spots to do that from? I don't know. Oh my god, this... Never mind, we're not we're not three-cycling him because I lost so many opportunities to hit him here. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, that was really close. Ooh, okay, good. Those those cannonballs seriously give me... I don't know how I've been able to, like, get even a, even a semi-consistent... Avoidance. They, they come so fast and they're like such huge obstacles. Ah! Ooh, ooh. See, I'm scared of jump, jumping as well. Sometimes I very easily hit balls when I try to jump to avoid another ball, so... Okay. Ah, damn it, see, that's me trying to like sneak in like... Because if you can... Land on the platform at the same time you kill the simulacrum. You can get way more, like, you get way faster up here. You can get way more hits in, so. Uh, okay. Baby. Ooh, there's a gap over here, I think? Yes. Sorry, Risky. Oh, this one again. Oh, no, 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 no. Um. <sighs> okay, well, I should have maybe just jumped that, but okay. <sighs> That's what's happening is... Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I was doing really good here, but now I've... I tried too hard. Well, we still got him, but... Now I'm very under-equipped for this final phase that's giving me so much trouble. Final question mark? I don't know, I mean, it's rule of threes, so I'm, I am assume this is the final phase. And we're, like, powered up with our, like, genie magic at this point, so it feels like... Feels like we should be able to take this guy. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Just do our belly dance. I like that belly dancing comes back here at the very end, since, you know, it's kind of been absent in this game. Although she does do the belly dance when you use the magic lamp to suck up stuff, so, like, it was there, but now it's, like, highlighted here at the end. Alright. These damage values are pretty gnarly, but... Ooh, that looked like it was gonna hit me. Ooh, okay. Now this scimitar really messes with me. <laughs> I'm gonna just eat here in these scimitars. I got a chance. Uh, and then these pistols again. Oh, barely dodged it. Oh, no. Oh, I got... uh... Now this is, I, I find this interesting, though, that this phase, they didn't actually do anything to change it here. Maybe just to, like, make you... Maybe they were like, hey, it's tough enough already, or... I don't know, give you a little hope spot here, because you also get to, like, just unload on the guy once you get to this phase. Alright, alright. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what the hitboxes on these cannonballs are like, but I don't know. We're able to slip through them somehow. Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 man. This guy. Yeah, I do think the corner's still safer. I tried once to, like, be in the middle, and I was taken for a ride. Oh, no! Oh, God! I don't know how that worked out once again. Like, I swear, it's... it's... Oh. It's... 
uh, it's not easy. Okay. Well, this just kind of devalues damage values, doesn't it? When you're like doing this much damage and still it's not enough. I mean, it, it, it's just to, like sell how with your genie magic now you're like mega tough. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, goodness! Can we survive this one again? I mean, I don't know how much health the guy has since we've never beaten him before, so... Like... I, I don't know, like, I would say if I get hit once here... I didn't get hit at all! Great! Uh, it would be, like, good. Ah, look, that I was, like, unconfident that I would stick the landing and, you know. But still, I say. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Oh! Oh my god! What the? I never got to this before. Okay, cool. Well. I mean. I mean, second thoughts that I didn't retain that hour I recorded last time, but I have been recording 25 minutes now already, so maybe you guys are okay with all of that not being here <laughs> still, okay? It, it was all of that for like an hour, but like with way more mistakes. So I, I, I hope you guys are okay with that not being recorded for posterity. <laughs> yeah, just again, to get a drink for luck there before we move on with what is going on here. Move it, you lovers! Get that cannon into position! Aye aye! Ready to fire, Captain! Oh my god, this is so cool, what? This is, remember, they were also talking about they were aiming for the palace, so this even makes sense. They were kind of setting this up. Like, this is so cool, is this the ending for the guy? Hold for my order, steady now. Oh, dude. I hope the guy dies. Oh. What? What the? What is that? Oh, okay, so so if I hit, this is what the heck is this? Okay, so 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 I, I'm able to fire the cannonball by uh, pressing like the gun button, like so. But, um. Oh, now maybe. Got him. Okay. Okay, so the reticle is moving along. Nice, I see. This reticle is moving along with me. Oh god! Oh! Of course it wasn't that. Oh, but I stunned him when I hit him. That's cool. So I just had to. Oh, okay, but it's not. Oh no! This is getting too close for comfort. Got him! How much more? Oh, this is perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I just got an Achievo. The recording doesn't pick them up, so I think we're good. Oh, that was really cool. <laughs> there at the end with the cannon. It was a little finicky at first, but I, I I got the gist of it. It got a little scary when he fought back, though, you have to admit, because I was like, oh no, I do not have the health to take these shots. <laughs> You're finished, Pirate Master! You cannot destroy me! Yeah! I don't know, you're looking pretty destroyed there, mate. That's the last of him. There's just one thing left to do. Like what? The pirate weapons. It's time I took them back. Oh, well, right. Oh, cool! She's all geared up again. And she's missing the, the, the pirate masters. Or, or, or is she? I... He's got in a golden belt now, but interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think I mentioned. I thought. I thought honestly, the 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 skull motif was a little tacky now that we got to see her without those on her. So like, uh, actually, if she goes, if she goes without the whole skull face thing in the future, that's actually cool in my books. <laughs> but risky. What about the curse? 
There's nothing to fear. Oh, no, no she's, got, she's back with it. It's just that her sprite doesn't have the details there. Well, it's not terrible. It's fine. <laughs> it's not a deal breaker. <laughs> Anything. The curse has been broken. I'm in charge of my own destiny. I won't let the darkness rule over me any longer. So... You're gonna become a good guy? <laughs> I didn't say that! Listen carefully, runt! Hmm? You walk the walk, and you talk the talk. <laughs> you even dress the part. <laughs> oh, that's cute. We got the freaking pirate look one last time. But in the end, you're no seafaring cutthroat. Far from it. You can't pretend to be something you're not. And... Neither can I. So long. That was... Actually, that strut animation was kind of cool. <laughs> Risky. I... I... Mm. Don't go! It's going to be all right. She'll have to discover her own path. Oh, uncle. Wrench said you were in danger. We came as quickly as we could. Is everything okay? Is Risky Boots still here? Please? <laughs> Bolo's like, I, I gotta do something important, man. I gotta help out. I could fire the cannon. <laughs> <sighs> She's gone. Soul crushing. I still haven't washed my head since that time she punched me. Oh, okay. Oh, no. actually, he might just be interested then, huh? <laughs> You've had a big day. Let's get you home. Thanks, everyone. But there's something I really need to do first. Oh. That awful storm has finally passed! The sky is beautiful and blue again. Hey, girlfriend! You and that pirate lady saved the day! <laughs> I guess we did! But I've still got some unfinished business with you, Ammo Baron! Let me guess! You want your job back! Ammo Town could really use a Gordian genie like you around! I can certainly vouch for her character, if it would make her happy. Oh. No thanks. I've got something else in mind. I'm only a half-genie. And I've never granted someone's wish before. But I think I'm ready to give it a try. This one's for you, Mayor. Ooh! Oh my god, what the heck? I see. That's cool. She can do that? No! Weeks of hard labor! Materials! My precious resources! All gone! The people of Scuttletown are through with you, Ammo Baron! Now take a hike, ye scum sucking scalawag, or I'll clean your gills from ear to ear! Oh, we even got the pirate thing here for the end. That's cool. She's bewitched and speaking blabber tongue! Let's clear out of here, men! Move it! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> the scarce of a way is that she's possessed. I... I can't believe it! My beautiful town has been restored to needs work condition! <laughs> You'll always have a place here as our guardian! Promise me you'll never ever leave! Aw, Mayor. Are those two gonna- they were- they were like Ammo Baron's cronies. Uh, okay. Abner! Poe! Roddy Tops! Gotta hand it to ya. You saw something in that pirate gal that the rest of us missed. Just like you did with Lil Sis here. <laughs> I just awoke from the most wondrous dream. I was a hero, just like you. I saved everyone who was lost and helped them find their way home. 
I'll tell you all about it tonight. What's tonight? Sleep over at your house! Now that we've moved back to the mainland, I'm going to track down our caravan. Maybe we should open our own coffee wagon. In the meantime, Roddy Tops can stick around here, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. I suppose I'll have to keep a close eye on these two. No one invited you. Time to hit the bricks. Where will you go? Poe and me, we're gonna search for answers. Maybe remember who we really are. Get our lives back. Roddy Top appears to have a head start, thanks to you. You gave us a purpose again, gal. Thanks for it. Come on, Bo. See ya, coffee lady! Aw, oh, man. This is great, this little character building. Everybody shows up at the end. I love it. I'll see you all later. You too, snack cakes. Uh, me? Okay, that's an interesting twist. Heh. <laughs> Roddy's brothers seem a lot less scary than they used to be. I should take off too. I got lots of work to do, and I can't wait to get started. That storm did a real number on this place. Good luck fixing the mayor's patio chair. Bolo! The mayor's retreat is the other way! Oh, that boy. So this pirate master fellow was Risky's old boss, huh? Yep. My magic was the key to awakening that curse and bringing him back. It appears that it was also his undoing. Yeah, well... Risky hadn't figured out from the start. Always one step ahead. I think she was just lucky. No one's that manipulative. Anyway, you got your magic back, right? Sure did! Half Genie once again! And I'm bursting with brand new ideas for my next dance moves! I'm glad to see your spirits up. I'm going to fetch Bolo. We'll talk again later. Things are finally starting to get back to normal. Uncle, I've been meaning to ask you. Why did you have that tinker bat in your workshop? Oh, that! Well... Honestly, not a question I was wondering about, but oh, okay, I guess we can have that as a big thing at the end. I've been conducting some experiments on the properties of magic. I thought that perhaps the polarity of magic could be reversed, much like a magnet. I figured there might be some way to restore your powers. But it looks like you proved that theory on your own. Thank you for everything, Uncle. And I'm sorry for running off with Risky and not telling you. You're a handful, young woman! But you gave Risky Boots a chance that most folks never would. You may never become a full genie like your mother, but you're becoming more like her in far more important ways. She'll see it herself one day, when you finally meet her. Yo, what? I... was that... A, that's a thing? I thought she was, like, long gone or something? I admit I wasn't paying super attention to that part of the plot. You think so, Uncle? I know so! Someday. Alright. Was that the game? Apparently not quite. I really thought we were about to get that end credits, but nope. Still gotta meet with Risky again. Risky! I thought I'd find you here. Oh, kind of cool. The weather's all nice here, too, now as well. I guess because the Pirate Master's mega done for, so that's cool. <laughs> Looks like your Tinker Bats are back to normal. They've got a lot of work to do. The Tinker Tub will need serious upgrades before I can launch my next attack. <laughs> You're kidding. Right? Why are you here? Still trying to convince me to become a goody-goody like you? I was just hoping to ask you something. How did you know the dark magic would change? Oh, that. I didn't know. 
It was just a hunch. I figured if I gave you the lamp, you'd put it to good use. And when I heard about the dreams, I figured the magic must be yours. But you knew that I wouldn't destroy it. Somehow you knew that it would change. How could it not? With you sailing the seven seas doing good deeds for every hard luck case? I make it a point to know my enemies. I knew the Pirate Master would make a grab for the dark magic. And I knew you'd do the opposite of common sense and hand it over. Well, yeah, to save you. Exactly. All right, men, snap to. We're shipping out. That doomsday device won't build itself. Watch your back, runt. You too. Ah, this is really fun. These two. I love this stuff. Oh. One more thing. Huh? Your mother. You're just like her. Only shorter. And more annoying. Risky. Smooth sailing. Groovy. Okay, wow, hey, that was Shantae. Good stuff, and the Pirate Curse. Well, that was pretty good fun, yeah? Oh, look at these, hey, hold on, I'm not sure if I can talk over the credits if there's gonna be fun pictures like that. <laughs> the Ricky Squid Baron hanging out there. Hey, I, that, was, that was where those two guys were at spring break too, so good job figuring that out, Squid Baron. But, why are they creeping at... What's going on in that picture? I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, so, this game... What is going on here? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I really did enjoy this game. Good stuff. It really was a better game than the last one, which was a fine game, but this one... Uh, oh no. That's a bad place to park your tank, for sure. Yeah, how would I put it, like... The first game really felt like an unfinished game in some way. Like, it was a finished game, but, like, it felt like a little... Interesting, that's cool. Those guys heroing up. What's the doggy? I don't remember a dog like that. Hmm. Yeah, the first game, like, just felt like it was a little unbaked with the variety, scope, and even, like, like plot points, you know... The way that the, um... There's Christina V. Oh, wow, okay, mmm. That's, uh... Someone will appreciate that quite a bit. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, okay, yeah, um, like, even the plot in the original game felt like a little underbaked, with the whole Ammo Baron part being a little unfinished, which is why I love that the, this game had the Ammo Baron stuff happen right at the start. So, so hard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this just felt like everything that was going on in the last game was now realized into like a more robust game Where the structure was better. There was way more variety in all the metroidvania -y items you could use with the pirate gear The story was really good more cohesive with like really good like if you paid attention you were rewarded with like stuff coming back and everything Oh, thank you for making this game Oh, I wonder what the significance of that is. Hmm. The end. Oh, thank you. Right, there we go. I missed yeah, the five squids, but I thought I did a pretty good job there, all things considered. So I'm pretty happy. Ooh, pirate mode unlocked. I wonder what that is. I don't know, but I, we got a really cool picture here. I really dig this. Got all the gear here, except the hat and the boots, I guess, but still. Wallpaper unlocked. Ah, oh, nice. It's, it's the one with everybody on it. Cool. Uh, I guess we're going to be splashed into the main screen. Yeah. So, for I mean, for the review, like, if I'm going to just talk about the story, I think this is, like, a pretty as good as it gets. I don't... I don't have any complaints about the story. Even the... I would say, even the thing at the end, 
made okay when I was kind of confused earlier with... Let's have a quick look what pirate mode is. What is pirate mode? Ooh, right, right to the start of the game, apparently. I don't know what pirate mode is, so... But, um... We don't get is it get a cool pirate hat? Or do you think it's like we have all the gear? I see, that's pirate mode. We just start with everything. Yes, I see. Well, that's kind of cool. Like, if you want to do, like, a collect everything run at that point, like, now you have, like, all the utility to do it right away. So that's kind of neat. I appreciate that. That's cool. Okay. So back to my review. Yeah, like, the story, like, even, you know, I was saying that, um... The fact that there was never every confrontation between Shante and her friends about her teaming up the Risky Boots. Like, it only came up when, with the uh, zombie family. But in the end, I think there at the end, like, the way it was played, played as Shante's friends always trusted her. And if she trusted Risky, then they kind of went along with her. So, you know, that's kind of what the vibe of that ending there was. And I honestly like that message a lot. So I, I, I actually, I, I rescind my concerns about that not coming up. I thought this was handled very well. And overall, this is such a fun plot to have, like, Shantae team up with Risky. Um, all the, like, characters, the little we learned about the characters in the previous game, like, seemed like everything was, like, really grown up very nicely. Like, every character in this is, like, kind of memorable, really. Well, not, okay, not every, because, like, then there's stuff like that guy who sells the travel brochures was just, like, a little side thing and I'm, I'm i'm not gonna lie the whole branson brandon thing didn't land super hard just kind of just kind of a weird little joke of here's this he-man pastiche you know that didn't land super hard honestly but like it was fun for a couple of laughs so not exactly every side story and not every character was a winner but if you played the first game this like i did it was lovely to see everything being like continued from there and all this goofy stuff happen and all these characters being built up, and, like, Shantae's lore continuing. And again, the whole thing... I said this in an episode, like, halfway through, and I'll say it again. We didn't belabor the fact that Shantae was without her magic powers too much. She did get them at the end, and that actually explains now, because I've seen trailers for the next installment where she does have, like, her transformation magic again, and that's actually a plot point, then, and not, like, a retcon or something cool. But, like, anyway, I love that the vibe was just that Shantae is still out and adventuring, even if she is no longer a genie half or any other. You know, like, it's not, not belaboring, no angsting about the... Just just the single angst of her, like, at the after the Ammo Baron wins the town, of her in her house being like, Damn that risky boots for taking my magic! But, like, that's it. And otherwise, it was just, like, heroing it up and being, like, really positive. And I dig that. All over. Yeah, great story. Gameplay was really fantastic, too. I, I don't much have complaints here. Um, the Daggeron boss I had trouble with, but honestly, I think that was me being just tilted. I think the Squid Baron boss was the worst one now in hindsight, like because I, I got like no handle on how to deal with his patterns. So, I don't know. That That's probably my least favorite. But, like, otherwise, it was engaging. It was... Um, it was not as simple as Risky's Revenge was, which again felt like a test bed for making the Shantae uh, Metroidvania game. Uh, but uh, but it was still fairly simple in scope and what you like, what you're thrown against. So that might be a negative. I enjoyed it as a breezy Metroidvania. Made it it, it was it is a feel good game, honestly. So. Uh, I enjoyed the play through all throughout. Uh, I knew I wouldn't get 100%, so I'm not miffed. Although I will have to had hats off for some of those final squids hidden in those dungeons on the last couple of islands. No clue how to get to those at all. Uh, yeah, but outside of that, like, yeah, it was not a, not much of a brain puzzler apart from those squids. So I don't know if like you're a Metroidvania veteran if this is maybe a little too easy. Hmm. And you could also, this might be a point of contention, the whole splitting it into like separate islands. I think this game de-emphasizes de the uh, exploratory nature of a Metroidvania. 
you're you're not really like unlocking there's like this dopamine rush or whatever like when you get a new power and you remember oh yeah there's that branch that i've been unable to get to previously and now i got this power that will allow me to get there that's like very like central to a metroidvania and it's kind of missing from this game a little bit it's mainly just for those hidden powers i mean you do double back to the levels obviously even for progression because you need to like get the sarcophagi you need to get the 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 brandon sword like you need to backtrack of course but i feel like the structure being split into like clear levels like delineated into clear islands that don't connect to each other does still like de-emphasize the exploration of a metroidvania a little bit uh i don't personally have a problem with that i i thought it worked fine here but i do think it's worth calling out i imagine someone looking for a more robust super metroid-ish everything connects nicely kind of world will will need to know be aware of that coming to this game uh, presentation is again also just a five out of five beautiful some of the pi best pixel art you'll ever find if you don't like pixel art then this one's not gonna probably win you over and like I said, I'm I'm a little sad that we're going to be moving away from pixels once we play Shantae Half-Genie Hero or Shantae Into Seven Sirens. Uh, I, I don't want to shit on the artists who made those games. And I, you know, I looked up some of the footage and I was like, you know, this is still really good looking. Like, don't want to knock it, but like the lost art of pixel art vanishes a little bit now that we transfer to um, whatever that's called, that style, like cell art or whatever in 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 um in in the next chante but at least we got to really appreciate some lovely sprite work in this and uh, the character models were like really cleaner they were okay in the previous one but now having played this and how much better everybody looks in the cut in art i do feel like this is a step marked improvement from how everybody looked like in in the previous game love love the details uh music it's still jake kaufman cranking out amazing tunes not a lot of, like, okay, I will say this. There aren't, like, absolute banger songs that, like, stick into my brain here. There's, there's a couple that I'm like, I'm going to listen to those later in the future. The final boss music was rad. Uh, the, the groovy music on Tanline Island, I will probably have to look up a couple of times. So, but I don't think the strength with Vert or Jake Kaufman is now at that in the in it there being like a super banger song i just think it's overall just incredibly well tuned music to the vibes you want like, like like the music represents the areas and their like vibe perfectly like it really gels well with the what levels you're going through and what's going on and and also like the the arabian nights influences are there like almost omnipresent which is great for like selling you on the vibes there like constantly like you have that energy there, and it's very appropriate. Yeah, so sorry if I sound like I'm like faint praising by not saying there's not one like definitive banger tune in this game. I hope you understand, viewer at home and possibly Jake Kaufman, that the overall like it, it exactly clicks with what the game needs from its music, and that's like really perfect. Like it's very video gamey too. Like. It, 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 it's music that knows this is a video game, so we're going for like some real like kind of uh, not chip tuney, but like kind of really like bouncy techno pumping like digital music. The really like what what a, what a video game music sounds like when you think of like nostalgic games, and yeah, love it all together. All right, my favorite protagonist. Mm. You know, Shantae just is really great in this. Like I, like I said, her, her really nice values of like just being a hero. The whole thing of her teaming up with Risky Boots is really great. I don't know. I, I really think Shantae, this is a really great protagonist. Just the main character to play. I don't think I have to toss uh, my hat to any like side character here. Although the, the, the quality of the side characters is pretty big. So it's like, ooh, oof. But, like, Shantae just sticks out as, like, a really fun character to play as and, and fun to follow, and that's really good. I might want to maybe award it to Risky Boots, but I'm not sure. Am I going to give best protagonist or best antagonist to Risky Boots? In this game, she's basically in a protagonist role. It's it's almost like a shared spot for them, in a way. Oh, the best, best antagonist, though. Mm. 
I am gonna hand it to Ammo Baron. I may have given that to him already in the previous. I don't remember who I named as my favorite antagonist in the previous game. I, I kind of want to give it to Shadow Shadow Master, Pirate Master, just because he was a that was a really awesome design for a villain, and he was an interesting boss, um, and everything. Um, but uh, but I think Ammo Baron, his role is perfectly realized as like the kind of um, the 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 kind of bumbling side villain. He's got his own thing going on, and he's not even paying attention to like the big scope of what the problem is. He's like the he's he he he's 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 like he's like Newman in Seinfeld, I guess. He's just like this annoying guy who like shows up all the time, and you know, like he's still doing his annoying thing, and, and he's perfectly realized in that role as like the nuisance villain, and 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 his. His eventual comeuppance just is great that, like, his cannon fails is, like, your fire... Because he's, he's, like, succeeding for most of the game, but it just feels so petty that you can't like, get super mad at him. But then when his cannon fails, you're like, okay, that's hilarious. And then this final where he gets run off from town and he sinks in the desert in his tank. It's all great. And just the fact that he, like, got actually got to, like, do stuff after being relegated to that, what I described of, like, that kind of unbaked part of Risky's revenge of just kind of showing up and being like now I got the deed ha 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 and then he's not like actually uh, you don't fight him he doesn't show up at the end nothing really major he just you know now now he gets to really shine throughout the game and, and is definitely a favorite villain of mine uh, favorite boss fight will go to the pirate master um, none of the other bosses they, they were great they were great great they were fine too great they, they got the job done they were like a they were like a final exam for whatever new power you got from the of the level the new risky pirate gear, so they 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 functioned great. Uh, pirate master really was cool. It was challenging. I regret again. A part of me regrets that um, I don't have that hour kept to where I fought him for an hour to fight him. But a part of me is also like, um, no, that's that's bad viewing to make this episode an hour longer. Just to watch me slowly inch towards handling his patterns. But but really, no, I, I really liked him. Like he first phase really puts you to a test to like utilize your pirate tools. A really great check for that. And then the final one is just like a really nice, uh, just like a, can you handle the very basic platforming and and attacking stuff, you know. I will admit that, uh, yeah, like I talked that he's very pattern based and that might not be everyone's cup of tea. So I understand if like that, like dock some points. Like I said, I enjoy like a boss where you get to practice patterns and kind of like little by little inch your ability. Like in that sense, I really did enjoy. I didn't get like discouraged even though I was recording for an hour. It was more that I was recording super late in the night and I was like, oh dear. And also like, is this good video? <laughs> Those were the two main problems. If I was playing this game all alone, not recording for you guys, I'd be pretty hyped for this test of my abilities here in this final final fight. Perfect perfect difficulty for a final boss altogether. Really happy with the Pirate Master. Favorite level... Um... Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. I said that the levels worked kind of okay, but I'm, I'm not super... They weren't super memorable. Maybe Cackle Tower. If we want to talk about Island and then Dungeon, then maybe, you know, there's like two you could... Maybe for both of those, I'll just give it to Spiderweb Island and Cackle Tower. I like the verticality of Cackle Tower as you're like building up to like climbing up that tower, you know? Little by little, like finding ways to like continue climbing upwards. That was an interesting take on a dungeon. So I enjoyed that quite a bit. Um... Yeah, and Spiderweb Island is just fun. That this goofy, like, you know, Halloween town <laughs> madness going on there, just just kind of fun. Oh, that had that fun Roddy Tops running part too, which was very goofy, but 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 you no, know, pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, I think that's my easy choice. Funniest moment? Oh gosh, my mind's drawing a blank. There was like, it's a very funny game, so there's lots of funny stuff in it. What the heck is the funniest moment? Hmm. Ooh, struggling here. I don't know. 
It's just overall pretty funny all the damn time. Um, it's a pretty simple gag, but um, the Techno Baron getting hit by the Ammo Baron shell, that was a pretty good gag. That kind of made me laugh altogether. There's just like a really simple, like, lol thing going on there. So, that's, that's, I, I, I don't know, maybe I'll just toss that as my favorite thing. Because it was, again, it was a whole build-up to the Ammo Baron's everything he's doing, and his incompetence finally, like, coming to full bear there as he blows up the Techno Baron. It was, it was all together really funny. Yeah. Well, that was enjoyable. That was a really fun game. Chante and the Pirate's Curse. Let's hope that I don't take as long to get to have Genie Hero someday, because I would like to play more of the Shantae games, just based on how much fun I had here, but for now, I'm like, I was a little like, when I was thinking of what to play and sat down for Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, I was once again like, mm, am I gonna be up to this? I'm always a little scared sitting down for a Metroidvania, but like, no, this was a very easy game to like, get into and have a good time with, so I'm very happy that I got around at last to moving on in Shantae. Um, now I'm gonna be closing it off for now, I think I'm gonna break a little bit of my usual rules and play another way forward game next week i think it was made by way i don't remember i'm pretty sure it's made by way forward or at least produced or something but there's, there's a game that came out recently that i would like to also get to I, I don't want this like sequel to get delayed by years and years on my channel the way that pirates curse got pushed back, so I'm, I think I'm going to be jumping on that this time early, so uh, look forward to that next time, but for now, thanks for watching, and see you later.